Hello everyone, as a 46 here. Welcome back to part 2 of our oxygen not included playthrough. So, we're back up, we're still in cycle 10 still. We're gonna play for another 10 cycles and see what we can get. So, I've done some research into the game and I've, I've realized that the CO2 down here, the red stuff, down in Breathable, it will actually tend to go downwards and to the right. So, if we make a tank down this area here, it'll end up being all this CO2 and we can hopefully dispose of it somehow, filter it out maybe. And all the oxygen will go everywhere else pretty much. So we're also going to need a water tank somewhere and a waste tank because we do need to make a filtration system for our both our showers and our toilets really. So we're going to start it with looking at our research. So from last episode we're still researching the tier 2 artist, it's almost done, 18 out of 20. So once that finishes, I reckon we should, walk, um, we should work towards filtration. Okay, we're down to 40% stress, um, that's kind of nice. Our highest stress is 40, everyone else is 4, 4 and 0, that's nice. And we just unlocked decor, more decor. So, I reckon a canvas would be the best bet. We can have that not only above the massage table, but above the beds as well. And that will mean that our duplicates will lose stress while they're sleeping. Which they do a lot of, obviously. So let's paste those down like that. Um, it's kind of terrible stress limits here. Terrible decor levels. Just put some around the general area where they work a lot. I, seem, I reckon that's a good idea. And have some... Um, can't build there. Can't build there. Okay. I will just let, let those ones build and see if we can get some good pitches happening. All our storage compactors are also full, so we should make some more, I reckon. See if we can copy the settings while they're not built. Is that a thing? I don't know if that worked or not. We'll see in a second. Get those built. I also want to prioritise these ones up here. All the other paintings don't really matter at the moment, but we want those done for when they're sleeping. We also need to select a research task, and we probably want plumbing goes into, I guess in the hydro sensors, we want to find showers, where are showers? Or toilets even. Yeah, that's what we want as well, we want this to get rid of the serotonin in the base. Um, where would shells be? The bee, somewhere obviously. Be nice if there's a search function, just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, would it be in here? Would it? Airflow tile, gas valve, liquid, manual. You'd think it'd improve plumbing, no? Decontamination. It could be this one actually. So lavatory, mesh tile, shower, and sink. Yeah, we want we want this. Decontamination as well. Okay. So it breaks off into do two different branches, that's kind of nice. So we're going to go for sanitation and plumbing. So they'll get us the liquid pipes as well, which we can use to improve our tank, or even make a tank. So we'll get that researched, and we'll get these paintings going. We'll copy the settings now, since they're actually built. Hopefully that gets rid of some of the bad decor from all these items that are sitting on the ground. How are our plants going? Um, is it grown yet? How do I tell if it's grown? Um, I'm not sure how to tell. Oh, okay, it has grown. They harvested it automatically. Okay, that's cool. So this is the meal rice here, which means we can go to here and is it this? I guess we can make that continuously. We'll set the priority as six for this as well. So as long as we have meal rice, it will make some um, food for us. Everyone's sleeping. So our decor, it's gotten, looks like a tiny bit better, but it'll actually be much nicer once these are painted. Okay guys, it's morning again. Let's see if we can paint some of these. Or do we have to have an artist? Yeah, we need an artist, okay. So we can go to jobs really quickly. We can set someone as an artist temporarily. One thing I'm interested to see, so we look at um, look at Hayden Aston. Can he be multiple people at once? Can I have multiple jobs at once? No, he can't. Okay. 
So there's an art student now. Hopefully they can get painting. So job board, we have an artist. How do we set the paint? We may have to just set the priority to six or seven for these. See if they go ahead and paint them. So, are you going to paint? Where'd he go? Where did our art student go? Oh, here's painting, nice. It's kind of a slow process, but once they're all painted in here, we'll set his class back to um, go for. You can see his mastery is going up, it's 0.8% already. If you go stats, where is his stats for art student? Oh, there we go. That's looking nice. What type of decor is it? Yes, you see the spreading decor. Hopefully that reduces the stress for anyone who's getting massaged and everyone who's sleeping. That'd be nice. So what we want to do is we want to have two tanks, one for obviously for water, one for dirty water or waste. So we're going to clear this out and we're going to have one tank here and another tank here. So if we get a dig tool, how big do we want this? One, two, three, four, five. By one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that big enough? I don't know if that's big enough or not. Eight, nine, ten. We'll make it five by ten, so that's fifty blocks. And then of course we'll make some tiles like this. Just like that. We'll put a ladder in the middle, temporarily. Cancel this bit, and of course another ladder here so they can get down. There we go. So you see it's bright green up here. Total decor value for this is 50, 55 here, 45. It's gone up pretty good. So you can see it's only 39 here at the moment. We'll see what it's like once that's done. And now research just finished, nice. We're getting there guys. So we'll just unlock some liquid stuff here. Liquid vent, liquid pump, etc. So what's the value here like now? Can we click on it? We need F8 don't we? There you go, it's a 50 here now. So you can see it does rise per painting. So having a lot of paintings is a very, very good idea. Which means we might even want another painting here and here, just so the decor value right here is insane. So if we go to uh, furniture, We'll make another canvas here and here. Set the priority number nine again, and we'll be back in the morning. Guys, it's morning again. So let's see if the paintings get built. Yep, all the sandstones getting delivered, and they're getting built. That's really good. We've got job mastery. There we go. Micro dude mastered the apprentice architect job. Set him eligible for a promotion. So. He's eligible for a promotion. Can he go here? Micro dude. Is that a thing? Well, can we put him straight up here? Is that a thing? Okay, he can't do it. He's not high enough level yet. Okay, so do they have to be qualified for it? It's kind of nice. So once they get high enough proficiency, they can go up to the next level. So this guy, I don't know what the benefit of being here is. Yeah, so it is 750 now instead of uh, like 250. So it, it takes longer to get up to the next level, but I'm ass I'm assuming that the benefits are higher, which would be nice. There we go. Yeah, he's got a different colored hat as well. That's cool. Really, really nice. And I'm assuming once they um, once the art student levels up, we can get different paintings because at the moment they're all the same. It seems kind of weird. So the total decor is 67 right now for the massage table. Um, 72 now. Changes per thingy, okay, that's weird. Okay, is anyone gonna paint this? Set the priority higher, just so they get painted. Okay. We're kinda low on food. What lacks resources? Are we out of algae? Yes we are, that's not, that's not so good. So there's, there's algae down here, which means we can probably go and get some of that, like that. We also get some of these plants here, which would be nice to do. Start mining those out. That of course makes our base bigger and requires more resources to run. 
But we do need algae, otherwise it won't be good for us. I also see liquids. We have a fair bit of water left. We also have polluted water, okay. Paintings are almost done. And then we can get rid of the art student for now. I'm just wondering, do we want to make these first before we get rid of the art student? I'm thinking we might. Is that the last painting? No, nah, there's no other paintings, okay. So, sweep up the ground items. We'll sweep everything. Just so there's no clutter everywhere. And we have blossom seeds. So I'm wondering, can we plant anything else here? Blossom seed, what does that do for us? So we can eat, it provides uh, edible berries. So as long as it's edible, I don't mind planting it. But, okay. So actually I shouldn't plant that there because it need it doesn't like the fact that it's illuminated. So we should plant that in a dark room, obviously. Your wood. Okay, it's getting uprooted anyway, that's nice. Okay, it's looking pretty nice up here. You can see the total deco is very, very high. So anyone goes up here is just gonna love it. Our plants have died. Yeah, it's fine. That's why we got rid of anyway. So we need more algae still, which means we should probably prioritize some of this higher. Make the ladder. Can I make a ladder? No? Okay. So set the priority. We can set it to a 7, just for this bit here. We do need algae, otherwise we'll run out of oxygen. All the arts almost done, that's pretty nice. It is obviously morning again. It's very nice. Our duplicates are starting to dig out the algae down here. Which means we can get our oxygen production back up and running. I just want to see what this little guy does. He's a little hatch. Okay. So he gets, he gives us coal, that's kind of nice. Good boy. What did, he, what did he eat? Did he eat... He just ate some algae. I think he just ate algae. That's not gonna, that's not gonna go down well for us. Oh wow. It's, it's a bit mean and cruel, but I don't really want our algae disappearing like that. So, it's an unfortunate, unfortunate result of his ways. There we go, some of the decor is going up here, that's good. Get rid of these lights because we don't have enough energy to run them. Now that we have paintings, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Where's our artist? Oh, look at this, guys. Our mill would grow. Does that mean we have more seeds? Yes, it does. Copy settings. There we go. So, can we harvest these? Or are they going to get harvested automatically? I'm pretty sure they do. Get harvested automatically. We'll just wait and see. Where's the harvest? There we go. We can go harvest like this. Yeah, they're already set to auto harvest. Okay, that's fine. Now that we know that, we should prioritize these higher as well. Just so that we have lots of food coming in. Our food situation obviously isn't that great at the moment, so any food we can get is always good food. Our research is coming along as well. He's got one more to do for novice and four more to do for intermediate, and then we'll have some better sanitation devices. And this is the last painting. Let's see how the, there you go. It's still kind of red down here. Obviously sorted these, but it's better than nothing. If we go F8 again, like that. Deco is negative for, negative here. It's negative still. The bedroom's pretty solid though. Very high deco here. It's less bad over here. It's at least positive most of this area here. Pitch is halfway done. How's the research going? 9 out of 10. Ooh. Okay, our mule last went off. That's kind of annoying. I want to see how's the uh, germs going? Which one's germs? This one. There we go, research done, nice. We have sanitation devices. So that got us a sink, a wash basin. If we go into base, we got pneumatic doors, I believe. Plumbing, we got showers now. We got a lavatory, which is a fancy toilet. So, what we want to do now is we want to set up 
the water tanks down here so that we can get the showers and the lavatory running. We'll pump the good water out of here and the bad water goes into this side obviously. And to get that started we obviously want to set the priority higher. Uh, we want to set the priority higher so that these guys will actually dig. Let's go out of that. There we go. Now we can see the priorities. So set the priority higher for these. Just so this all gets built like that. We also probably don't want a roof on this. Like that. We don't want a roof. It's night time again so we'll be back in the morning. Okay guys it's morning. Our stress level is decreasing. And our miner just leveled up. Good job Eddie. Okay I'm just thinking. We want to obviously replace these toilets with uh, proper ones. So if we go to plumbing, we can make a lavatory. As you can see, it's got an input and an output. We probably want this right in the back area. We also want a shower. A shower requires both as well. We'll have that in a different section though, because it doesn't need, uh, they don't need to wash their hands after using a shower, obviously. We want two lavatories, in case one's out of order for some reason. And in... Where is it? Medicine? We want a sink. There we go. So the sink will clean them up after they've used the toilets. They're digging out that tank for us. That's nice. Nicely done, guys. We may need to make a ladder so they can get across and get rid of those blocks. Yep. So dig out these as well. Because that only needs to be dug out. There we go. I'm not sure how pressurization works in this. So, do we have our gas tiles? Thought we did. Mesh tile. Um, does not obstruct liquid or gas flow. That's what we wanted. So, we probably want one of these in each tank like that. So, pressure doesn't really build up too high. That'd be nice. And then we'll make a tile here, like that. Okay, so in plumbing, how do we get water into a pipe? Liquid pump, there we go. I'm assuming this needs water as well as... I mean, sorry, it needs um, power and a pipe coming out of it. Because it won't work without power, probably. Get rid of all these. Where's deconstruct? There we go. We'll get rid of these ladders, we don't really need them anymore. Prioritize these uh, six, and these is a six. There we go. The ladder should start disappearing. Oh no, someone just went to the toilet here, I think. Huh. That's no good. We don't want toilet water in our, um, in our tank. These guys, there's so much oxygen down here, that's the thing. Okay, um, not much oxygen generation. So, we used 181 and we only produced 163, so that means we should... We should have enough oxygen generation, it's just that our, um, oxygen gens weren't running the whole time. But we can also select a new research task. What should we work towards, guys? We should get... Um... Let's see... Okay guys, I've decided to work towards better power generation, the coal generator, hydrogen generator, as well as these new wires, the switches, and the batteries. So I'm pretty sure this is a bigger battery, so we should be able to store more energy. That's the idea anyway. How's our tank going? We may have to build a ladder there so they can get over to deconstruct the rest. So I'm pretty sure they can't get over, that's the thing. We are back, it's the morning. So our guys are starting to work on the top bit of the sec top bit of the tank. Hopefully they do some flooring. Uh, we didn't pop up before though because there's still waste here. It's not good to have. How is our germ overlay looking? Oh god. Okay guys, we're gonna have to not go down this way too far, or if we do, get rid of the germ somehow. Looks like the germs are actually depleting, so maybe if we leave it long enough, we could actually go into there. So, I don't think there's any germs in our base at the moment, except for this bit right here. We will disinfect those, don't worry. What we can actually do is select the whole base, anything's, anything's contaminated, we'll decontaminate it. 
So all the ladder had a tiny bit of germs on it. There's not much germs on it though. I just do not want to, um, I don't want anyone to get sick in this colony, mainly because I don't really know how to cure anyone at the moment. We don't have a hospital bed or anything, so I don't want to take the risk at all. We'll deconstruct this. Set the priorities higher for these. So we want the wall done. Um, there we go. I'm just wondering if they can get over here to build the wall. They might not be able to. Yeah, they might not be able to reach it. So, we <laughs> might need to make another ladder here, unfortunately. Yeah, see if they work on that. How's our food situation? We got a tiny bit of food left. I might want to queue some more. Do we have enough to make some of these? There we go. Hopefully that's enough to make some good food. These things are going up pretty quickly. So, let's go back to the plumbing section. We can have a look at the liquid pump. So, this is the pump here. And we probably want a vent here. That will get the water into there. The dirty water. That will put good water in. So, this is the input. Goes up here. Run along here, like that. Bring that... Which one of these is the input, is what I'm gonna wonder. I'm we'll getting these built, so I'm not sure which one's the input, which one's the output. Not sure at all. Unreachable build, okay, so it needs to be a ladder here as well. Yeah, there's lots of work to go around and not enough duplicates to do it. But at the moment, I don't really I don't really want another duplicate. It's another mouth to feed, another bed we need, more oxygen, etc. We're just gonna keep it small with four people at the moment and once our base is working a bit better, that's when we'll start expanding. How's this guy going? Good job, Derek. I don't know why he's getting a massage when Eddie's the highest. Let's see. Okay, so maybe he was higher, but he went down, obviously. Stress is lowering overnight, and we'll be back in the morning. It's morning again, guys. Let's go plumbing. Let's have a look at the liquid pipes. So, I'm assuming this is the input here, because it's got an in arrow. So, we're going to run our pipe up. Where do we want to run it? We'll go up here. Maybe. Into there. Into there. Like that. There we go. That looks to be connected. We'll also connect... We'll set the priority for these. We'll set the priority to be a bit higher, just so the pipes get built. Instead of taking hours and hours. Hopefully this works. Okie dokie. Okay, stress is down to 39. And that's Eddie. Where's Eddie? What do you need more of, Eddie? So, he's got a full bladder and he doesn't like how much deco we got. So, I'm not sure why he isn't peeing. The outhouses are still good. So, he's just a weirdo, I guess. But we do need to improve our decor still. If we look at decor. Yeah, they've been working all down here and all in this area down the bottom. So that's probably why they're, um, they're not very happy about the decor. But when they're sleeping and they get massages, they're getting lots of decor. Let's queue some more mushroom, mushroom bars. Or mush bars. Our food's getting a bit low. Okay. Oxygen. How's this, how's this guy going? So this guy's actually producing the oxygen and he hasn't got much algae and he's low in water. Is this thing getting water still? Because the pipe's barely in the water. So it's got a tiny bit of water available. I'm wondering if we bring it down if that will increase how much water we can get out of it. So I'm actually going to deconstruct this, set the priority higher and we'll see if we can bring it down a bit. Bring it down to like here, like that. Set the priority number nine, like that. Hopefully it's got more water available to it now. Well, that meal rascal as well. That's really nice. That means we can get better meals coming out of this instead of the mush bars. 
make as many as we can. Food shortage, yes, I know. We're making more food, slowly. How much food does this give us? It gives us 1,700 calories. That's good. That's really good. Okay, so this guy now, he has access to yeah 8.1 tons of water. So it's a lot more water. Um, no one's gathered water yet for some reason, but there's more available to be pumped up. So I wonder if we can get this happening. These two pumps here. And um, yeah, this guy needs water. I mean, he needs power as well. Oh, research done. Nice. So that gives us bigger battery, some switches, and a wire bridge. Oh, wow, you can run two wires over each other. That's really cool. That's really nifty. I didn't know we could do that. So what we want is we do want wires down to connect to this. Can we run over? Yes, we can run over another part. That's cool. Okay, our closest power is up here. Can we, can we get rid of that? We'll definitely go up. Okay. We'll go up and then we'll cancel these two. Set the priority high for these. I do want those built because I want to start seeing our toilet start working. So once that's built, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the ladder in the middle and we'll replace it with some actual blocks, some actual tiles. And then we can start pumping the bad water into here. The yeah. um, polluted water. Morning time, day 17. Let's see if the power gets connected up and see what happens to these um, toilets. As you can see, there's no liquid output, but there's also no water inside the tank up top. So, if, where's our water overlay? Uh, pumping overlay. I was, I was about to say, why is there no water coming up? But obviously there's no water in the tank, so it wouldn't make sense for any water to go up, but the pipe is connected. So what we want to do now is, that, that's done. We'll go ahead, get the deconstruct tool. We'll go one, two, three, four. Um, actually, before we do that, before we do that, we want to go ahead and sweep up the floor. So otherwise this will never get out of here. Has it got food poisoning on it? Maybe. Okay. So I'm wondering if, how do we set priority for sweeping? Can we? I don't think we can. Okay. I guess these guys may be stuck down here. Maybe. What we can do actually is we'll make the base, we'll go tile. We'll set a little barrier there. They can still come down by ladder and hopefully collect all this stuff. But, um,. But our thing won't overflow into the other tank and get contaminated. So we'll build that up higher. And then we can start pumping water over to the good side once that's once that's uh, built. So we're going to go ahead and make a pump here. A liquid pump. Do we have any other water sources actually? Uh, there's a big one up here. This is our main one obviously. So I'm thinking if we make a little separator there. And then we go to pumping again. What if we make a pump on this side, so it access this side, but we don't lose our water supply from here, from the pitcher pump. So, liquid pump, here we go. Make that there. We want the priority higher for these, obviously. Like that. Unpause it. Our food's getting low again, because we're out of meal glass. Can we make more of these? There we go. I'm just curious, what are these made out of? They're made out of um, dirt and water. Okay, that's not that's not so good. <laughs> Maybe that's why everyone's so dissatisfied with the food. We should get more food happening, I reckon. Better quality. Okay, yeah, what's everyone up to? Oxygen generation. There's all floaties up here. It's not good. But what we can do is, I just realized we have more mesh tiles. So we can put these in here. So we have a full gap in between them. We make them there. And we're back in the morning. Day 18, guys. Okay. They're just delivering some dirt. Let's see if they actually construct this stuff over here. 
Is this reachable? Unreachable, okay. We can fix that, don't worry. Is this reachable now? Set the priority highest to actually get built. It's insufficient water. Okay. I was wondering why they aren't collecting water. Because this is a water pump. They should be collecting water. Actually, I just realized I just realized something. I just messed up badly. There's no way to get over there to actually build stuff, so. This is a platform that was over here, so now there's a way to get over. That was my mistake, guys. Sorry about that. Just came to realize. Now they start doing stuff over here. That's good. It's very good. We'll start seeing some water come up with the pitch pump. Very nice. So we'll bring a pipe out of this guy. Bring it up. Bring it across. Um, this is the tricky part. Uh, we can run it next to this pipe, just do not want it to touch, that's all. Uh, we can run it down here, it's kind of a terrible uh, way to do it. But we can do it that way. The only thing I want to do is, we need a way for the other contaminated water to get in. So we'll go plumbing again, and we'll build with the gap there. So now we can put the void of water in here. It's gonna bring this pipe up around this way. Connect it to these guys. Like that. And hopefully that's run in the correct direction. Probably wanna dig all this stuff out here as well. Like that. Okay. We need higher priority for all this stuff here. Um, okay. There we go. Okay, let's pop up here with the high priority, just like that. Construction is going. We do probably want a ladder here, so I can access all the area. Like that, there we go. That should be smooth sailing now. Once this is set up, like that. There we go. Food shortage again. It's no good. Welcome back everyone, day 19 in the morning. Our little guys are starting to make the piping. Hopefully it all works. Worst case, we've reversed the, um, the input and output. But we should be good, I assume. Which one's our water overlay? It is... F6, okay. So I think that's the input, I'd assume. Yeah, you can see up here actually. That's the input, and that's the output. Okay, we did get it right. Awesome guys, we did it. So we're just gonna wait for him to finish up the pipe, and then hopefully it connects up to here, and we start collecting some wastes. Not sure if we can do anything good with the waste, but maybe we can. Maybe we can use it to cool down a system we make or something like that. Food shortage again, ooh. It's out of power, okay. That's no good. We should probably set this to a 9 for now. Someone's gonna go up and do it. There we go. We don't wanna run out of oxygen uh, generation just because of power, so we'll keep that going for now. Most of the cables have run. Almost. Should run about a through here, maybe. Connect it up. Can I walk through pipes? I think they can. There we go. Okay, this guy doesn't have power, but we can fix that up really quickly. And then we should start uh, pumping some water over. There we go. That's power connected. Oh, very low oxygen down here. That's not good. Okay, we need to get rid of some of this CO2. So if we go into oxygen. So use the sand to filter polluted oxygen from the air. This carbon skimmer, that's probably what we want. How's that research going? It's almost, we've almost got um, combustion. So once that's done, we'll go towards the filtration. Filtration? 
Which one had it? This one. Carbon skimmer. So we want air system next. Okay. Everyone's working hard. Uh, where's deconstruct? Deconstruct. We build one there. There we go. That's some of it's all the water out here. Okie dokie. Food shortage again. We've got 0k cal. That's not good. What's the priority on this looking like? Yeah, we need power and food. Battery's full though. That's kind of nice. Is this empty? Get rid of that. We don't want anything inside there. Uh, okay, it's throwing zero out of zero out of 150, so we can actually go ahead and deconstruct this. We'll deconstruct this, and we'll make a big battery next to this. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, it is uh, cycle 20, which means we're at the end of the episode. We have to wrap it up here. We'll come back next time, finish off the water system, hopefully get all these running, and uh, we'll do some more stuff that's exciting as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you leave some likes, some comments, and if you'd like to see more of episodes in the future, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.